Hey, this is Kim from Schaefer Chevrolet showcasing our 2010 Ford F-150 XLT with 85,000 miles on it. This has been a one owner with no accident on it. Go ahead and show you the tires. Great condition here. The wheels. It is missing one of its lug nuts. Vehicle's priced at $20,000 right now. You can see there's a couple scratches on this vehicle. I mean, here and there. I'm going to try and point out what I notice. They're not really, most of them aren't really uh, like deep white scratches. They might be able to be buffed out. I'm not sure. I don't want to promise anything. I just want to show you what uh, the truck looks like as it sits right now. Um, and here I think it's just dirtiness. But I'm not 100% positive. There's a spot here. Scratches here. Here and on the back of the truck. The window here, there's a tiny spot that it looks like it's just got maybe buildup on it. But it looks that same way on the other side in the same exact spot. See, there's a couple scratches here. Nothing major. I mean, when you stand back and look at this truck, it looks like a beautiful truck. Back tires, back wheel. See, this is one of the more noticeable scratches here. The back tailgate is the spot that I noticed has the most uh, wear on it. See a spot here that is a tiny little bubble. Again, a tiny bubble here. And the only reason I'm noticing these is because I'm trying to look as in deep uh, depth for this truck for you. There's a tiny little chip, chip here. Looks like there might be a few chips um, with bubbles on the tailgate. Down here, definitely a touch-up portion. In here. And this, yep, that was just dirty. That just wiped right off. Bubble here, bubble there, bubbling here. Bubble here, tiny touch-up spot here. Another little bubble here. See your trailer hitch there. Oh, and you know what? Pull on the tailgate. You can see it's got the bed liner in here. Also with the tunnel. Down here we've got a little bit of scratching. A couple spots here where it's scratched. Again, back tire. Missing another little lug nut. Some scratches here. And here's the residue on this window that I was telling you. Same exact spot on this truck. Check out the interior. Very clean. There's a couple little spots that look like they may have been little snags. Maybe caught a ring or something. But the seats honestly don't even look like they've been sat in back here. Very, very clean. No rips, no tears, nothing of that nature to go ahead and report in this entire truck. Even... Here looks pretty clean. Rubber floor mats, front and back. Some scratching here. And again, tires and wheel. Tiny, tiny touch-up spot there. On the chrome, there's a, started to crack a little bit. I think this is probably a tiny touch-up spot here as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interior of this vehicle. The exterior really does look sharp. Like I said, it's just, I like to really kind of go in depth and point out tiny tiny things that I notice so starting the truck
looks like 85,513 miles on this truck. You can see there's no lights on except for the one telling me to buckle up. So that's always good. Steering wheel, we've got our cruise control, power windows, power locks over here. Our outside exterior mirror adjusters, four wheel drive, tow haul mode, um, radio. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Radio sounds great, no signs of crackling, anything of that nature. Let's go ahead and turn our fan on here. Get some AC going. Check and make sure that that works fine for you. AC seems to be nice and cold. Let's go check the heat now. So I'm gonna kick off my AC but take it to heat. Heat works great as well. And our different fan speeds are working. Again, nice rubber floor mats. It is a little bit dirty here but I think once they go ahead and uh, wipe this portion off with a towel. I think this will clean right up, but again, no promises. It looks like something that's going to wipe, but well, let's put it that way. Sunglasses up here, a couple little compartments. And our mirrors. Center seat folds down. Nice little cubby here. Go ahead and fold it up. Should you have any other questions on this truck, feel free to give me a call. Phone number here is 989-879-2211 and be sure to ask for Kim. Thanks and have a great day.